Hey everybody, you're listening to the Vocal Advancement Podcast. I'm your host Tom, joined by Heather. Hello everybody. Welcome to day three of Welcome. Evacon. Welcome. It's day three. We're halfway there. I know. Whoa. Where's the day gone? I don't know actually. It has gone really quick and um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yesterday was a great day. We had lots of singing, lots of fun. We did. I've not got my schedule on me so I can't remember exactly what we did. What did we do in the afternoon yesterday after we... Podcast it. Can we remember? <laughs> it's just the thing. There have been so many classes. It all blows into one big long, just it amazingness. Was, did we not have interactives yesterday afternoon? Was it not interactive late or it may something have been. like that? It may have been. It was definitely IVA stuff. Either way, <laughs> technical stuff. Yeah. Teacher development stuff. Yeah. Important um, stuff. Those of you who are watching this on YouTube will notice this. The Tom and I have swapped chairs. I don't like it. <laughs> And it's because the beautiful view out the window over there is very distracting. And when I sit on that chair, I find myself not looking at Tom at all because I'm too busy <laughs> looking out the window. So today I'm sitting on the chair where I can see the view and I can see you at the same time. Aww. And now it's Tom's turn to try not to stare <laughs> out the window the whole time. <laughs> the sun's shining finally here. I know it is. It's really, really it's it's nice. It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Yeah. And we're actually, we're only at lunchtime today because the way the rest of the day is going to go, there's not going to be the opportunity for us to f- record. So we're reviewing the morning. We are, but it's, it's already been a really exciting morning. So yeah. there's lots to review. Yeah, today's sort of, um, what would you call it, like guest speaker day? Yeah. yeah. So we've got loads of people that have come in. And it's exciting because there's so many topics that we've never, ever covered before yeah. in our conferences or online stuff. And it's... It's so nice to see the teachers being exposed to something something different that they may not have ever thought about. Yeah, absolutely. And to be honest, I was attempting to attend three <laughs> different classes simultaneously As you earlier. Do. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, I kind of want to watch a little bit of all of them. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I'm familiar with the topics because all of the guest speakers are people I've invited in. So yes. I know a little bit about their work before I invited them to come and speak. Um, but it was... Do you know, it was so nice to watch them all in action mm. because they just delivered some absolute gems, some absolute gems. And the feedback was phenomenal. Yeah, uh, you know, it was great. As people were walking out of the classes, they were like, amazing. So we had Abby here talking about um, teaching students with sensory educational well, needs. Well, apparently it was a very popular class. Yeah, it was really, really good. And some really uh, useful, practical things that you can do if you're working with Um, children or adults with any kind of additional needs whether that's things like you know autism or ADHD or any kind of like developmental things you know stutters also Mm. all sorts of things some really really useful things Um, and then in the room next door was um, Helen and Natasha doing a workshop on using acceptance and commitment Training. That's the one. That's the one. Yep. So ACT, uh, using that to help with performance anxiety, which, you know, is a hot topic. And that was a very popular class. And there was lots oh, of yeah. fun things going on in that class. I missed that there one. Was, uh, there were bubbles. Oh. There were bubbles. They had bubbles. I'm not oh. sure what happened with the bubbles because I missed that bit. And I walked I in and bubbles. they all had bubbles. I know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> But that was quite a lively class, and because Abby yeah. said at one point in her class she was talking about, you know, something calm and mindful or something, and every, they were trying to calm everyone down, and then all of a sudden there was like loud, raucous <laughs> noise from the room <laughs> next door coming. In. Fabulous. <laughs> quite contrasting. Um, and I got to go to most of Tessa's class because we had meetings today as well, and Tessa was talking about um, we have to teach them to practice. Right. And so it was all about do your students practice and if they don't what are the reasons why they don't practice mm-hmm. and what can we do to help them practice right you because know? like I mean I remember when I first started taking singing lessons I didn't quite know what to do yeah. all the time and so yeah. I, you make excuses for yourself like, oh, I, 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 I'll just ask my teacher I don't want to do the wrong thing for a week you know uh huh at least that was my excuse. Yeah, I was going to say, there's always an excuse. Oh, yeah. you know, I've got a student who's just moved house and she's like, I'm not comfortable yet with singing in the house because I don't know whether the neighbours can hear mm. me yet. You know, there's all sorts of oh, things, you know, Somebody barriers that, yeah. to kind of doing, you know, the practice. Um, 
so yeah, I did pop in and see a little bit of that class as well. I was running up and down all over the place like a loon trying to make sure I, I got to see a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, I was here for that class. There was, I, I just walked in and saw lots of, of people at desks looking at her and nodding furiously. So she yeah, they you know, liked lots it. of approving nods going on. Oh, they loved the class. Yeah, they did. <laughs> it, was, it was really interesting, the parts that I caught. And, you know, like because we have meetings in a similar room that looks down onto the class. So you can hear mm-hmm. snippets coming up as you're in the meeting. But yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And then we had a full on session with Jenna, who yeah. was doing a session all about something called clean language coaching. coaching. Yep, that's the one. Which some of the teachers got a bit confused on. I had somebody saying, so is this is this the class about Not hoovering? So. Uh, hoovering? <laughs> 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 like, what is, what is this cleaning? And somebody else was like, "Is this is this language about not swearing and yeah. you're not cursing in the in the lessons?" Pretty pretty sure we know not to do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. This was all about the use of metaphor and not putting your own words into your students' mouth mm. and trying to find ways to actually use their imagery and their words to reflect back to them to get a better sense of what's going on in a lesson, what they're feeling, what they're thinking. So, yeah, really kind of thought-provoking topic mm. there. And I, I unfortunately didn't see that because another meeting. Um, <laughs> but I do remember because Jenna did the podcast last yes. season with us and I thought it was a really, really interesting topic. So yeah. that's one that I'm looking forward to watching back. Yeah, some, there were some really challenging moments, you mm. know, she was kind of making us think hard because I think... Oftentimes we think, well, we don't use we don't use any of those old school metaphors like put it in the mask or yeah. you know lift the soft palate. We don't tend to use those, but there are other forms of metaphor and imagery. Oh, yeah. And actually, what she did, which I absolutely loved, was that on one of her first slides, she'd been making notes. She'd been she's been dipping into some of the classes <laughs> and she'd been making <laughs> notes along <laughs> as she'd seen oh. people and as she saw somebody using anything that kind of resembled metaphor or imagery, she made a note of it and she had a list of all the things that she'd seen. So you could wow. see that the teachers in the room originally they were like, Oh well, we don't talk like that. And then they saw this list and went, Okay. Oh, maybe we do. <laughs> maybe we do do a little bit of that. Oh, okay. Maybe we need to think about what, how we're talking and how we're, yeah, it was, that was good. I like that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching that back. Mm. And uh, Jenna's doing laryngeal massage for us today, isn't she? She is. I'm so excited. I've I put know. myself in because me too. I am so tired and swollen and I'm like, will you give me a massage? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, actually, do you want to do massages for other people too? I'm sure other yeah. people would want one. Lots of folk have been, have been yeah. sort of sneakily watching her while she's yeah, been doing it. while she's it. been doing it. Yeah. And kind of having a little, 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 little. what's going on over there? Because I, n- I mean, I've seen it, but I've never had one no. myself. No, so I've only ever done self-massage. Oh. And we had, um, it was Melanie Tapson, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Who came to do it, class for I us I wasn't on able to make it to that. Self, so. A self-massage. Um, because you have to train quite intensively to be able to do it on other people and and to know exactly what you're doing. Because obviously, you know, you're dealing with a rather sensitive part of the body. Yeah, there. I can it's imagine it's quite easy to you know make you a want any old cowboy setting up and doing. So you know, it's quite an extensive training period to um, know what you're doing there. But yeah. Jenna I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. And we're doing a little experiment, me and Jenna. We, Are you? Because uh, I'm having, I, I get to have a private lesson today for my own voice. Oh, How fun. exciting. So, yeah. And so Jenna was like, would well, you want it before or after your lesson? And she's like, why don't you try it before? She's like, do a little experiment and see how your voice feels different in your lesson, having had a massage. Amazing. So I thought, yeah, that's a great idea. That's so, a great yeah, idea. I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've deliberately booked in the massage right before I have to lead the group singing class later. Good thinking. <laughs> Good thinking. I'm like, my voice is very tired, and I'm not sure how well I'm going to lead that singing. I'm like, Jenna, can you give me a little <laughs> massage right before it? Might get a little bit more out of it. And that reminds mm. me, actually, because when we recorded yesterday, day two, we hadn't had our group singing activity yet. No, we hadn't. It was before it. And so Tessa Smith, yes, who was presenting this morning as well, mm-hmm. um, did a jazz she did. Group singing class. It was a lot of fun. I was, I didn't, I was watching from above because I was working. Such a boring life I have at conference. <laughs> um, but I was watching them all singing and taking videos for our mm. socials. And it, yeah, it was, it was just a big group of circle, uh, a big group of circle, a big circle big of circle. teachers <laughs> all standing together, just singing and swinging and clicking and jazz. It just looked like so much fun. Do you know, and she was, she was teaching it kind of call and response, do this, do this. And she kept adding bits on. And <laughs> the <laughs> drafters. <laughs> 
I'm like, I felt like I was playing that shopping list game, you know, you play oh. as kids. When I went to the shops, I bought an apple and a banana <laughs> and a notepad and a da 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 da. And when we got to like the fourth or fifth bit, I was like, oh, my brain, I can't remember anymore. Oh, no, I can't remember anymore. So, yeah, it was quite, it was, it was a good challenge for my brain. It was keeping me on my toes there. But it was a lot of fun. But it was amazing to watch because. She went through it a couple of times. Yeah. And just like seeing everybody just clicking into it. Yeah. And then there was an opportunity to improvise around it mm. as well. Just like just hearing people just letting go and just, having some know, fun. Just, you know, just having some fun, a little bit of singing at the end of the day, let off a bit of steam. And that's really important. That was like when we put the schedule together, it was really important mm-hmm. for us that there were opportunities to, to sing because usually we have Darren. Darren Wick yes. here, who's our official IVA choir master. Mm-hmm. Uh, sadly, he's not with us this conference. That makes him sound dead. He's and not. No, dead. He's not dead. <laughs> he's just not here. He couldn't make it, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we had to fill the gap to make yes. sure that there was opportunity sure to there was sing. Some stuff to do. Yeah. And you know, and I think it's quite nice that you, we, you know, in the morning we have our announcements. Mm-hmm. You know, there's let make sure you get your lessons and all that. And then we have a morning warm up. You know, yeah. get ready for the day. And then it just it's such a nice thing to end the day with song. You know, Absolutely. go out into dinner with a high. And actually, one of the interesting things that Tessa did at the end of her singing session was she made sure everyone did a little bit of a cool down. That's right. I remember. And that's one of her things that she's really she's really um, invested in is making sure singers know how best to warm up and to cool down. That's right. That was her podcast interview. Yes, uh, yeah. So if you go back and listen to the podcast interview with Tessa, you'll hear more uh, yeah, about it was that. Really interesting. And it has made me go, oh no, I should be including a cool down in my mm. group singing class later. I don't think I've got time. I haven't scheduled time for that. I'm going to just have to tell everybody on the way out the door. Do some cool down. I'm going to be in trouble if I don't tell you to cool down. <laughs> And what have you got in store for people in your class? So I'm going to do something entirely different from what Tessa oh. doing. So I'm going to do a far more traditional, we're going to do a bit of choiring. We're going, oh, to, nice. we're going to sing an arrangement I have done of Creep. Um, and we're just going to enjoy making harmony together because I know. it just makes you feel good when you sing something and it you know builds and you can hear all the voices together and I have some music but no doubt you know we've got a bunch of very talented voice teachers oh, yeah. I'm sure they might throw in a few extra harmonies for oh, themselves yeah. along the way we'll see yeah there's something um because in our studio we used to run a choir I think I've said that before in the cat mm. podcast and like, there's something about listening and watching it develop as you're leading mm-hmm. it, but there's something very different about being in it and singing with somebody in harmony and how yeah. your voices sort of click together. It's it, it it's really hard to feeling. explain, but it's mm-hmm. just so magical when it, it clicks. It is. It really is. It just even when you're leading it, you know, like you know, I run these choirs, and they're all they're they're you know community choirs. Anyone can join. Yeah. So you get a you know a vast array of of people at different levels. Um, and, and oftentimes, like, I'll, I'll go in, I'm like, oh, I've got to go and teach choir, and I'm mm. not really feeling it. And then I get to the end of the session where all the home, everything's kind of pulled <laughs> together, and I'm, like, jumping, and You're I'm, like, just nine. on a high. Yeah. So it, just, it just sends you off in the right direction. It makes everyone feel good. Yeah, and that's the power of music, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. The power of song. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, it's been another busy, it's busy day. There's another class. I'm only halfway through. I know. Well, there's another class. <laughs> Just started because I can hear people I talking know. in Better the room. I know. I'm, like, I'm trying, to be, <laughs> trying to be quietly speaking and not shouting. Um, <laughs> more classes going on this afternoon. And again, some more really interesting topics. That's right. Yeah. Um, another one of our guest speakers, Emily, is coming in to talk a little bit about um, developing context and understanding the roots of music and, and paying homage to, to the roots of the music that you're singing and being respectful of learning new genres. Really, really fascinating stuff. So I'm really looking forward to seeing mm. her class as well. That one I'm... I've, That's the next one, isn't it? Yeah. And this is class just now, this is vocal analysis. That's right, so yes. this is your training for our singers. And Absolutely. We're... Our, for those that are not familiar with our conferences, we split our classes into um, the years of our program so that you're learning with similar people at a similar experience level as you. Mm-hmm. You know, So we have the two lower levels and then we have the upper level class, yeah. which is where we're going as soon as we finish recording. Yeah, we're going to dash off. We are, because it's so and we're exciting. we're going to geek out with Andreas. Yeah. He's going to get the Voce Vista out and we're going to geek out over spectrograms. Yeah, because it's actually... And pretend that we know what we're looking at when we don't know Ooh, how much we <laughs> Pretty colours. Ooh, pretty pictures on the screen. That's but nice. you, you know, we've got to take the opportunity to get some learning <laughs> exactly. in when we can, eh? Too right. You know, we, you know, we want to learn stuff too. Absolutely. Learn stuff. 
Um, and I'd, I, it is worth also shouting out at this point that today is a very special day for one of our board members. Oh, thank Mr. you, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Not you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, this is my happy birthday to Mr. Spencer Welch. That's right. Happy birthday, Spencer. Who is spending his birthday here with us all. What a gift. What a gift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly how he wanted to spend his birthday at a voice teacher conference. <laughs> well, you know, the nice thing about spending your birthday at a voice teacher conference is you get happy birthday in like a 20 part harmony. Do you know what I was going to say? He's had it at least twice. Yeah, yeah. We, we did it this morning in the warm up and I definitely heard it over lunch as well. I think it was in I was, Spanish at lunch. Was it in Spanish at lunch? I think I was so, yeah. say, As I walked in, I could hear. Happy birthday going on as I walked into the, the lunch room. It's nice. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I think they might be out partying tonight. I have a feeling there's going to be some green faces in the morning. I think there might be some, yes. I think there might be some people who turn Not up. Not for us diligent, no, hardworking. Like, like maybe lunchtime tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I have to check my schedule, see how many classes I've got in the morning. <laughs> I ha- we went to dinner last night and I got an alcohol-free beer because I was driving. <gasps> oh, we went to, went to Asian idea. food. And um, we were sitting in the bar in the hotel, stapling handouts for classes oh, today word. at 10 o'clock at night because we forgot to do them. <laughs> and I got a beer and I was like, you know, that was alcohol free and I, I feel quite tipsy. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know why. Oh, it's great. The, it's the tiredness. It's the delirium, <laughs> the delirium. setting in. <laughs> um, so, yeah, what else? Is there anything else we need to report about today so far? Well, you've been out doing your roving report, haven't you? I have been you? doing some more roving report. I and got did you turn the microphone on? I turned the microphone on this time. <laughs> I've been checking. I'm paranoid now. I know, me so too. So I have been checking and I have pounced on a few people and I did get some, I got a really good answer to um, the, the what is the craziest thing. That's a point. Nobody's asked me any questions to ask you, Tom. Oh, I'm very disappointed. Okay, well then I'm going to have to ask you one of my questions then. Oh, so dear. Tom, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you during a voice lesson? During a voice lesson? Yes. Like giving or receiving? Either, actually. Yeah, either. I don't think anything crazy has ever happened to me. They've all been pretty vanilla, I'm afraid. Oh, well that's boring. I did actually. Sorry. No, oh, there just, you go. There you go. There you go. Just uh, takes a while for people yeah, to remember. Yeah, it just came to me. It was actually there's a there's um artwork on the wall there. It's got animals on it, and just reminded me of my dog. Um, I had a when I got my dog, he was still a puppy. Um, my partner was away at a meeting, so I had to take him to the studio with me to teach. And Laura had she had looked after him because he was still really young, couldn't be left on his own. So she had looked after him for a couple of hours, but then she had to go and teach. And so I had one more lesson left to teach. And so I was holding the puppy and the student came in and she was terrified of dogs. Oh no! Absolutely petrified. Oh, no. And the colour just drained oh, from no. her face. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, but I've, I don't, I've nothing, I can't do anything with him, you know, because he'll go and chew cables and like, electrocute yeah. himself or something. So I had him sitting on my knee and like, my dog loves people. He loves people. Like he just wants cuddles, yeah. hugs, licks and things. So he was like desperately trying to get over to cuddle her and, and all this. And she was terrified. And every exercise she was like almost at wall, you know, back against the wall. And so she never came back after that. Oh no, <laughs> traumatized by the puppy. Yeah. So if you're listening, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think that's probably my worst experience of a voice lesson. Oh my word. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. See, I love dogs. That'd have been all. I'd be oh, like, no. pass me the dog. Oh, everybody else that came in were like, oh, can we hold them? Yeah. I had hi. one. I had one student. Um, I don't teach kids. Still yeah. to this day, don't teach kids. But when she started, I think I've told the story. She was seven when she started with me, and her mum begged me to give her lessons. And then she was with me for like twelve years after that. And um, she loved dogs. So every time my dog was in, the th- she would just like stand and cuddle him while she did her singing exercise. It was Aww. so cute. And then one day she just walked away. I was like, eh, no, bring him back. He's mine. <laughs> <laughs> my dog. It's my dog now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. What's next? That's nice. I once had someone bring their dog with them to their lesson. Oh, yeah. And then it peed on the carpet. But that, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my dog did that. They were mortified. The student was mortified. They're like, they're like I was trained for years. I'm like, marking its territory yeah, in yeah. my studio. My studio. My studio. <laughs> What's okay. next? Um, I'm liking the questions. Now. You're liking these yeah. questions. Okay, one more question for you then. So, um, I can't remember which ones I've already asked you. I'm gonna, I mean, it's gonna be what very, musical very, note would you be? Which musical note would you be? <laughs> We've moved on from that now, Tom. Well, first um, experience of performing is this. That was the other. Is one. that was the other one I asked you? Okay, so then in that case, if Taylor Swift wrote a song about you, 
What would it be called, and what and why? Mm. Oh. Oh. Eternal Optimist. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's very poetic. <laughs> Trademarking like that it. for a song. Yes. Um, that's, a, that's a good one. Probably because my partner, like, I always... He gets annoyed at me because I always... I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. I mean, it's be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. And that kind of person when it comes to stuff, like, everything will just come out in the wash. It'll be all right in the end. You know, and then probably go into panic like mad about it, like, <laughs> ten minutes before. But, you know, I try and be chilled and calm and patient as much as I can. So, yeah. But I, like, yeah, Eternal Optimist. That's a nice one. Oh, I like okay. that. If you're listening out there and fancy writing a song called Eternal Optimist... For me send, to sing? Send it in. Yes. <laughs> we want to hear it. Lovely. Bonus points to the best Eternal Optimist song. <laughs> <laughs> Made that a little competition. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like it too. Put, park that somewhere in the back of my head, yeah, you know, in like 20 years' time, I'll be like, oh, remember that I'm time in that write, podcast? I'm going to write that song yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Um, well, I think that's everything we have to report for today, Tom. Yes, I can hear singing coming. I was going to say, the singing is getting intense in there. It I is. mean, it's sounding quite impressive. I think it might be a recording. I was going to say, I'm thinking it is recording. Oh, it's a voice if not, analysis. there's a full-on concert going on in there. I which know. Is, is, I want to go and watch it. <laughs> um, so we will be back tomorrow. So keep following, keep listening, and uh, we will check in with you again tomorrow yeah. and let you know what else has been going on in our world. Yeah. We'll let you know how the massage was. Yes, we will. Mm. Tell you more about that. Yeah. Fabulous. Well, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.